Hey guys, welcome back to Ficklin TV. I'm Amber, and today we're going to be discussing Cairo's eight month update. Say hi. You gonna wave? Can you wave? No? You want your hood off. That's what you're doing. You want this off. You want to show your bald head? Baldy? Bald boy? Baby Cairo is now eight months old. Can we believe it? He's growing so, so fast. I can't believe eight months has passed already. And this month is kind of a milestone marker for me because I got pregnant with Cairo when son, my older son, was eight months old. So, um, I don't know what that means. What that means is Kendall definitely needs to go get his vasectomy because we don't want another one of you, right? No, don't mess with it, Kendall. Right? Yeah, we're here, and in a couple months, he'll be one years old. Let me let you guys know what he's been up to. So a big mile marker for this month is that Cairo is now sleeping in the crib. As you know, last month, I told you guys he finally started sleeping through the night. Thank God. And we decided to put him in the crib in the kids' room. So the reason why is because one night we were sleeping in, in the room, and he actually almost climbed out of the bassinet into our bed. And it freaked me out. Since then, I was like, you know what? We're done. He's not doing the bassinet anymore. He is going into the crib. So, we moved Sun out of the crib into a bed and Cairo into the crib. And so far, so good. He hasn't really shown that he doesn't like it. He's in there with the other kids. So, in the morning time, we actually get a little bit more time to sleep because you are just fascinated with that candle, aren't you? <laughs> We actually get a little bit more sleep because he can be a little bit entertained with the kids when he does wake up. And it, it works out. We actually have our room to ourselves finally again. And I'm so happy. And it's amazing. I know you hear him making some noises now. He can actually say dad dad. He won't say mama. Unfortunately, he should. But he's making a lot of cooing sounds. Are you gonna wave now? You wanna wave? No? But he is trying to say a lot of words. And that's probably because of the other kids. So he is trying to say little words and little utterances. And when he does say it, we'll say it back to him just to encourage him to begin to talk. But since we are talking about his mouth, my baby does not have any teeth. And it's so crazy because literally all the other kids had teeth at this age. He's eight months and there's not one tooth in his mouth at all. And he doesn't even seem to be about to start teething yet. But you know, I was talking to another mom and she told me that maybe all of his teeth are gonna come in at the same time, which is probably gonna suck for him. But the fact that we don't have to go through the teething process over and over and over may actually work out. But he doesn't even have a uh, breaking of gums or anything. What's going on? Where are your teeth, Tyra? Teeth? No, that's not teeth. That's hair. <laughs> As you can see, he's becoming very, very aggressive. You like my hair? Where he was just this sweet little baby, like he was just so sweet. Now he's starting to like grab your nose, grab your eyes when I have eyelashes on, just snatch things from you. So scream, he's starting to scream back at son. I actually have a video of them screaming at each other at breakfast. Poo poo! <laughs> so he's starting to hold his own, which is good because with these other kids, he's gonna have to do that anyway. Um, but it's so funny to start seeing him become. What is that face? So aggressive and so like such a boy. Such a boy. What? You don't like my makeup? His facial expressions are hilarious. I always laugh because I have really like big facial expressions and he certainly does too. As you can see, he's starting to make this like, what? Sour face towards me. 
He'll do that with his nose. He will, when he's sad, if you take something from him, he'll poke his lip out. Like, you know, a really, really sad face. Like, his facial expressions are freaking hilarious. So we have started introducing meats into his diet, baby food meats. Of course he was getting a lot of table food. So he's had turkey, he's had chicken, he's had beef, and he enjoys them. The one that he did not like was the chicken noodle baby food. He didn't really like that. We made it for him and it was kind of mealy. So mm, he kind of didn't want to deal with that. What's up? You don't want to look at this? No. He is eating a lot more baby food than he used to, where he used to just eat one pouch or half a pouch, not even a whole pouch. He started to eat the entire thing and look for more. So I'm thinking he's starting to get to that point where I may have to start giving him one pouch or one serving of baby food and a half, which is what I used to have to do with son because he would just eat so quickly that he would want more. We are still breastfeeding, so he is still getting breast milk the majority of the time. He enjoys his snacks. Still the same snacks, not much has changed with that. I have started introducing puffs. The, the hard part is the other kids really like his snacks as well. So I really have to like hoard his snacks and like hide them from the other kids because they'll try to take over and take them from him. And it kind of sucks because their baby is baby food. Like you guys shouldn't be eating that. He does not pull up on his own either. It's crazy, we went to a play date with one of my girlfriends and her baby is actually three months older than Cairo. And she can pull up on her own. She can go from on her stomach to sitting up by herself. She's actually taking steps when she is standing up. So it's hard not to compare your babies to others. But I also know that they all go at their own pace. But Cairo does not pull up on his own. He will stand with assistance, though. So <laughs> He's laughing at his sister. He will stand, like, if you put him um, on the edge of the couch or um, um, stand him up with his toy, he will stand up that way. But as far as pulling up on his own, he's not quite there yet. He does know his name. Poo-poo. Cairo. <laughs> You're not in trouble. You're not in trouble. So he will look at you when you do call his name. If you haven't noticed, we do have a nickname of Poo Poo for him. Where that came from, I'm not sure. I think it was like just a little name I kind of started calling him when he was a newborn. But his official nickname is Kai Kai. He doesn't really respond to that, but Cairo or Poo Poo, he will look to see what you want. One unfortunate thing that has developed lately is separation anxiety. He freaks out when I walk away from him or when he thinks I'm about to leave him. He gets really, really upset. So much to the point where if he's playing in the living room with the kids and I'm going to the kitchen to cook, he'll like cry and crawl all the way into the kitchen. Like, where are you, mom? Please rescue me. And it's like so urgent. Like, he's about to die. And it just sucks because you hate for them to feel like they're missing you when you're away from them. But I'm still leaving. He's going to have to get over it. He's going to ha have to get used to it. Mom's going to have to do what she has to do. But it just sucks because it's, it makes it difficult to leave them. But one thing I do know that I learned with the other kids is that leaving, don't like draw out the goodbye period. If I know I'm about to go somewhere, I'll kiss him and I'm just gone. Like I'm not going to oh, coddle him and hold him and stuff like that. I just try to make a quick exit because then it won't draw out him being sad for that long right but he's my baby like he knows we have this little bond he loves me he just wants to be up under me all the time it drops Kendall crazy but he's definitely definitely a mama's boy so yeah I'm not gonna make this a very long video hopefully it's not but that's pretty much all Cairo has been up to what he's been doing he's growing so much by leaps and bounds and I'm enjoying it because he is a bigger baby now, so he has a lot more fun, a lot more personality. But I'm also kind of sad because he is going to be a toddler soon. And I'm kind of not looking forward to that because they get so active and they get so crazy. In the comment section below, let me know what your 8-month-old is up to. 
if you are enjoying his funny faces, please let me know that as well. <laughs> also, if you aren't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell next to it so that you can be notified every time we post a video. We will see you guys next month. Say bye. Are you going to wave at all in this video? Like, can you just show them that you can wave? No. <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye.